Okay, this video is about a Firefox add-on called uh, the fastest search. Uh, it will help you search much faster. Uh, right now, I'm going to the download site. The reason why I have to go through my name first before getting there is that it's not yet uh, fully reviewed, mostly because uh, uh, the, the queue of reviewing is taking a long time. Um, but I expect it to be uh, released uh, very uh, uh, soon. So once you go search Table Tools 2, which is another one of my popular add-on for HTML tables, you can find my name and then you click and you can find this. And you can also through uh, get here through other add-ons. So once you get here, you can click on Add to Firefox. And once it's fully reviewed, there's no such caution. And uh, well, so you can um, click Install Now and you'll see a little icon on this side and it means that uh, it's instantly usable there's no restart required so once you have it what can you ha what, what can you do to help you search faster first of all when you are typing anything in the Firefox URL bar what will happen is that for Firefox will search your history and bookmarks by default and you can change that in the options menu if you if you would like you go to privacy and you say suggest history and bookmarks or history or bookmark or nothing and histories and bookmarks are the best so let's say if you want to type MBA and whatever page that was uh, um, showed up in as the top result as you type in the URL bar will be instantly loaded in your Firefox that's what uh, um, fastest search that's only one of the things that fastest search will do for you to make you everything faster so let's say if you want to do NHL and again this is a page I visited earlier and um, but still I mean if that's not what you want you can still finish typing and say uh, return and you get to the uh, site you want to go and what about something that you never visited before let's say if you do that deal then immediately the Google search will be executed because um, fastest search found that in the history and the uh, bookmark there is no result that matching that deal okay so you just search Google and instantly loaded the search result for you and the next time if you type the same thing the same page will will come up again Okay, so this is the Google. This is basically the same, almost exactly the same as the Chrome Instant. You will load page instantly as you type, as you search. So let's say if I want to say um, "best mini van," for example, see, it's automatically done. It's just like Google Instant, very fast. And but fastest search is much better than just uh, Chrome Instant. Why? Because Chrome Instant only allow you to um, to search uh, the Google website, and also it it only search Google's main site. It doesn't even automatically search images or maps or whatever. But I mean, with fastest search, what you can do is that okay, I type GM and then say Carnegie Hall. See there's a drop down box telling you all the suggestions and then you also automatically load the top result for you so that's what um, uh, fastest search can help you that Chrome Instant will, cannot and uh, you can do another thing for example if you want to search Google's uh, um, stock price you type Google Finance GF and that's what you get earlier the Google map was GM now how do I know each and uh, how many engines are included so you just left click on this icon and then choose manage search engines and then you can see all the included engines and every engine there's a rank and there's a usage usage is basically how many how many times you actually use that engine and that's defined by basically pressing return the instant uh, loading would not be counting as the usage because some of those are, are not actually uh, result you wanted and uh, um, because they are intermediate results um, another thing you can do is that you can see all the shortcuts and you can look at what shortcuts are taken for what engines 
and there are also categories and I'll tell you more about the use of categories later and uh, another important thing I want to tell you um, is that um, uh, you can click on the edit and you can change the names of them you can change the URL the URL here is the website URL and what what's the website URL used for and I'll show you in an instant um, the query here basically you you don't want to change it unless you know what you're doing and you can type in a test query just to see if this query is working correctly or not you can change the icon by pasting a URL for an icon you want it could be an icon bigger than this and a faster search will automatically resize it for you and this is a suggest URL and this is the category and the shortcut those are pretty important and this one this is the use instant preview or not checkbox. If you uncheck this, this will mean that if you type, um, say, semicolon FA and then type the keyword, the suggestion will show up, but uh, it will not instantly load in, in Firefox. So if you type there, so if I do this, you'll see, then I get back here, I say FA, um, take tools too so you can see the results but it's not automatically loaded but let's go back to here and I'll show you if you go here and you say use instant preview and this time I do the same thing table tools too and it's loaded as you can see so um that's what that's how you can uh, disable or enable the instant preview and there's also another choice says instant URL bar here if you uncheck it and say update and then you come back here and you say um, whatever you say uh, that uh, that deal see it's not loading anymore it's not instantly loading anymore but I personally like the instant URL bar feature so you, once you have that it's automatically loaded for you everything is super fast and um, okay let me come back to your location uh, uh, this bar as I said you can actually type in uh, different engines using the shortcut but URL bar is not the only location you can do that. You can also do it here. Say G, uh, Google Map, um, Carnegie Hall, and again, it does the same thing. And another thing you can do is you can even do it here. Google Map, Carnegie Hall, and here it will not automatically instantly load because you are inside this page. If you instantly load, you lose this page right away, and, and and that's not what you want. But if you choose, if you look at this and you can click and choose, it will open a new tab, and you will have it for you. And another nice thing there is is that, for example, if you want to see Google Finance, um, you look at the Google stock price, right, and then. And then you, you realize, okay, I don't actually want to use Google Finance because uh, they don't give very good uh, news. And uh, it's all, all kind of uh, weird news. And so I want to look at Yahoo Finance. All I need to do is do this and then press return. Okay, now I'm on Yahoo Finance. And I can even do a category. As I told you earlier, each engine has a category. So if you type in the category name and then you do this, and you launch every engine in that category. Right now, there are only two engines in the category, in the finance category, which is Google Finance and Yahoo Finance. So that helps you to do multiple engines at the same time. You, of course, you can also do this. You can do uh, Yahoo and Google. And if you press return, you will search the Google for good, and you will search Yahoo Finance for good. So you can do multiple engines at once, whichever way you want. And every text box on the page will give you results. So let's say, oh, another thing is that if you want to, if you say GN, which is Google News, and you, you don't want to do any search, you just want to look at the top stories of Google News, all you need to do is just press return at this moment, and you launch this page without any queries. 
And same thing, if I want to go to Amazon, I do this. Semicolon and A. And then I get to Amazon. So um, that that's even faster than just a normal uh, shortcut. Um, another thing that, um, uh, that, that this page uh, Fasty Search does for you is like, let's say I want to search for Piano Prodigy and uh, Charlie Liu and who's actually my son and uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a real Piano Prodigy and um, did, when you scroll down, when you are on the Google page, if you want to change the query and you can scroll, if you are already at the bottom, you can scroll back to the top to change it or Fasty Search actually add another Google search box at the bottom of the page. It does not just do it for the Google main page. It does it for the Google News. It does it for the Google Web. Oh, where did that go? Charlie Liu Piano. Okay, so look at the main page. It also has it, has that. But sometimes the two two of them are not totally um, in sync because uh, the first one was still suggesting and the second one I the fastest search already copied it but it doesn't matter all you need if you want to change the query you do something else um, say again that deal and then you press return and you go there another way you can do is that fastest search added yet another way for you to quickly go back to search so here let's say you are actually um, on Amazon site uh, for searching for Canon uh, camcorder okay so once you are on this page you're looking at a camcorder and you want to go back to the top and search again how do you do it and uh, fast search will allow you to use control semicolon and you go back to the top the first text box on the page and this is very. Uh, this is a smart design of mine. And uh, uh, because seriously, for most engines, the first text box is the query box. So this lets you go in there. But also, if you press Control semicolon again, you'll go to the next text box. So even if the first one wasn't correct, if you press again, you'll go to the next box. And this way, it also automatically selected the whole content for you. And so. This way you can get back to the search very quickly. You don't even need to type semicolon A again to do the query search. It's, uh, it's, it's all about doing it the fastest way. So that's why I name it fastest search. Um, another thing I want to show you is that uh, you can also do um, uh, you can also do uh, what was it called? Yeah, the Unicode, the Unicode uh, searches. So let's say this is Chinese character. You may not see, you may not understand it, but uh, uh, you will just, I will just show the point. So here, if I'm doing the, um, this is uh, one of the Chinese website that, that allow you to do the search and you will see that, okay, yes, you get the search result. Um, it supports Unicode, that's my point. Um, now let me show you yet another feature.